and you're with The Gift for Life Live. And always with me is Dr. Danny Cox. Danny, how are you? I'm good tonight. Larry. Good to see you. Good to see you. And of course, Miss Amy, our fashionista and pet hero. And mm-hmm. who do we have tonight? Well, we have Pearl. Uh, we call her Pearl Girl. Hey, Pearl. And um, she's she's a diva tonight. <laughs> so she's here to add her uh, opinion right. about everything. Mm-hmm. And Absolutely. Th- and today we have a special day that you told me about. Absolutely. Today is National Pet Day all over the United States. So uh, we all love our pets every day, but yes, today is an extra special day. And so in honor of that, I thought I would bring one of our pets. I've had Penelope the last two weeks, so today Pearl wanted to come and join us. So happy National Pet Day, everybody, <laughs> and to all the wonderful pets happy that National that pet all day. that everybody has in their uh, families. And I bet you've been busy all day at the clinic. Been busy. We've been. We've had a busy day. Yeah, today, yesterday was a busy day, too. But uh, today it, was, uh, it wasn't too bad today. That's good. You know, today's a special show. Um, we have a lot of information coming your way. So this should be, we hope, the show that you share with all of your, your pet family and your pet friends because we are ready to announce that we've made major breakthroughs when it comes to senior pets. And, of course, we've already spoken about pets that have been spayed and neutered. With senior pets, we have proven over the years now that we can support anywhere from 30 to 35 percent more lifespan in dogs and cats. Um, we've been working with these peptides that I helped formulate back in 2004, so for the last 13 years. We say a major breakthrough is because you see changes quickly. These peptides are fast acting and highly, highly effective. And Dr. Danny, you've been using these peptides. Um, on your different uh, patients and things of this nature. What kind of results have you been seeing, and what can we talk about why it's so important to start a peptide regimen, especially with senior pets? This is a market that we really, because we're changing lives so quickly with this peptide technology. Well, Larson, as you know, pets become what we consider in, 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 our, in our world uh, geriatric or senior pets uh, around the age of seven to eight years of age. Right. So uh, that's, you know, and for larger and giant breed dogs, it's even sooner than that. So we have to be aware that uh, changes will occur in their body and at the cellular level, uh, in their joints, in their their skin elasticity, their uh, hormones uh, decrease just as they do in, in, in people. Right. And so we, uh, we need to be cognizant of that as well as their nutritional needs will change. Okay. We're going to talk about that again in just a few minutes. Mm-hmm. We're going to use a new term tonight, which is called a bioregulator. These peptides act as a bioregulator, and we can kind of discuss it, but I thought I'd just go ahead and read a simple definition that we wrote up about this. A bioregulator is a substance that modifies the rate of intensity of a biologic process as, uh, so as to maintain the homeostasis and meet the changing need of the organism. This is about your pet's endocrine system, and this is exactly what these peptides do. There's not another product in the market that can do this, become a bioregulator with the full endocrine system, and help support a longer, healthier life. And Danny, from a, from a medical point of view, from a drug point of view, do you know of any other drugs that can do what these peptides are doing as a bioregulator? Not on the market today, no. There's nothing there. There's, there's research on, and again, it's drugs that, right. that you're seeing and uh, that are they're being talked about. But there's nothing on the market uh, that work like these, these peptides do. You know, the peptides target specific cells. Uh, you know, if it's certain ones will target the heart for heart problems. Mm-hmm. It'll target the brain for brain problems. Uh, it'll target the joints. And so that's the, you'll, you'll talk about that. I know uh, the growth factors that are in the product, uh, right. uh, the gift for life. But uh, no, there's nothing else out there. So if you have a senior pet, and you know that we start to get a little scared sometimes. I know when Samantha was getting older, of course, we started around the peptides. But like I said, my own personal English Springer Spaniel, which usually Springers live to 13 or 14 years old, if I'm correct. Mm-hmm. Mine lived even with hypothyroidism to 17 and a half. So these peptides are so important to do this peptide therapy every day, and it's super easy. The gift for life is in a chewable treat, 18 amino acids and 21 growth factors. It is a beef liver flavor, and these pets will just eat it up. You give it 
twice a day, one in the morning with or without food, one in the afternoon. And the reason is, is to keep the endocrine system in homeostasis because these peptides only stay in the system for eight to 12 hours. So we have to give two doses a day. But with this new peptide therapy using the bioregulators, we can rejuvenate that pet and extend their lives. And you're gonna be so happy and you will notice a change in such a short period of time with these pets. Dr. Preston, if I may talk about what she's actually treating it for, Danny and Dr. Danny, I'd like to talk to you about it too. Dr. Preston has been using these peptides for a long time now also. She's treating uh, diabetes, Cushing's, hypothyroidism, arthritis, joint problems, uh, muscle atrophy, uh, neurogenic diseases, harmful life-threatening side effects from spaying and neutering. And this is exactly what you were just talking about, that these peptides hit these certain cellular receptors and actually turn them on again and activate them again where they've lost it because of either age or, or being spayed and neutered. Am I correct? Absolutely. That's, uh, you know, as we talked about before on, on our previous program about spaying and neutering, uh, we're removing those valuable hormones. And, and this, these, these uh, bioregulators go in and uh, affect the adrenal glands and the, the biofeedback mechanism in the brain to stimulate that and turn those back on. So, right. Right, right, right. And, of course, when we're talking about the adrenal glands, the adrenal glands produce right around 24 different type of hormones, do they yeah, not? They do. So this is why we're getting the results. So if your pet is spayed or neutered, then this, of course, is going to increase the aging process, is it not? Because the hormone receptors Absolutely. are not receiving the hormones that's, there that's on the cellular level to rejuvenate. So when we're able to hit this adrenal cortex, um, they're producing the hormones, the lost hormones again, and bringing that endocrine system back into homeostasis. This is why with your senior pet, you're going to get these results. This is why we've been doing this for 13 years. We've watched our studies. We've been working with a lot of patients. And now we have, thank God, Dr. Danny Cox with us, Miss Amy with us also, mm -hmm. to help all these different rescue animals that are in dire needs of these different peptides. It's so easy. All these other supplements, there's not anything else out there. There's no glucosamine or anything in the market that does what these peptides do. So let's start doing the peptide regimen every day in your senior pet and get these bioregulators actually working. And the results, well, you will see. And we're going to stand behind this product and give 100% money back guarantee. Now, you want to know if these peptides are safe. Well, to tell you the truth, I've had these peptides flowing through my blood 24 hours a day for over 13 years. Uh, my birthday is tomorrow. Hey, happy birthday. Thank you, mm -hmm. thank you, I thank you. I knew that. I was going to tell you Yeah, happy thank you. I will be turning 58 years old. Um, my son will be turning six, Lawrence and the Fourth, on Friday. Mm -hmm. Great birthday present. But as you can see, compared to a lot of other people my age, people don't understand or believe that I'm 58 years old because I haven't been aging on the cellular level. Neither will you, neither will your pet. So when you say, are they safe? Yes, absolutely. You know, I'm, I'm a, a living specimen of that. And now you're actually taking the peptides, the human form genostem, personally. Yeah, and it's amazing uh, the changes that I see in my own uh, sleep habits, uh, my energy level, my, uh, you know, I, I, I tell you something. I used to get very sleepy, and I think people out there have this all the time. You get up in the morning, you start your day, you have breakfast, or you get off without breakfast, or, and you go to lunch, and in the afternoon, about 3 o'clock, you get this afternoon lull. You get mm -hmm. to where you cannot keep your eyes open. That doesn't happen to me anymore since I've been on this product. No, you and I have spoken a couple of times in the afternoon, and you're still rocking and about Absolutely. to actually go into the operating room and start working again, and you said... How many hours were you on your feet yesterday working on different pets? Uh, probably 12. <laughs> and I know then when these emergencies come in also, and I've seen the pictures, and they will keep me updated when I'm trying to reach out to you where, where you are and you're operating and what's going on. And so you've actually, so you, you prescribe them and you take them. Absolutely. You know the, the same thing? I'm a big, I'm a big believer. <laughs> <laughs> I am. I'm a true believer in this. So. so as a protocol, let's write a protocol tonight for senior pets. What do you suggest? I'm going to listen to you because I don't practice medicine. You do. Well, I think any pet that's over seven to eight years of age should be uh, considered for the gift for life. I think uh, uh, you start with that uh, as just a basic uh, uh, plan for helping your pet uh, increase their longevity. Right. Um, uh, certainly you'll find pets in that age group that are starting to find that they're a little slower, they're a little less cognitive. Uh, you know, it, that's one of the big things with this, with, with the gift for life is it does affect the cognitive uh, uh, capabilities in pets just as, 
is I think it's doing it in people. I think it's doing it in me, myself. Uh, you know, you're more aware of things. You're more uh, cognizant of, of things in your surroundings. And um, so that's one of them. Um, I think we have to take that senior pet and, and uh, consider, you know, what if this were, were myself? You know, what would I be feeling? What would I be experiencing? What would my nutritional needs be? Uh, we talk about that all the time in veterinary medicine. Right. Uh, you know, you need to put them on a senior diet. You need, re need to reduce the 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 risk and the damage that certain preservatives and things that are in pet foods uh, uh, are causing uh, at the cellular level and in the kidneys, in the liver, uh, in the heart muscle. Uh, the, the the workload that it takes to break down certain products that are in those those. Uh, foods right and so that's a very very important aspect of it but a gift for life uh, tablet once in the morning and once at night uh, can make all the difference in the world it'll help with pain and discomfort in joints uh, you mentioned uh, uh, some of the products a few minutes ago that are out there that we've traditionally given to these older dogs when they're having trouble getting around uh, but it's not just for older dogs it's you know we do it in younger dogs too that have injuries or what have you mm -hmm. to help stimulate uh, joint uh, secretions and and laying down new cartilage and that sort of thing. Those will those are drugs. Those have a lot of things in them that you don't really want to be giving the dog. And the gift for life is all natural and it's something that can really make a difference in those dogs. So as a senior pet, as a pet ages and becomes a senior pet, uh, and especially if they've been spayed or neutered, they're going to need uh, something to stimulate their uh, endocrine system, their immune system, and these products, these peptides. Uh, target those cells that are being damaged or being undernourished, under underfed right. by the the things we think we're doing the, the good things for them every day with vitamins and supplements. Well, that's fine, but you know it's not the best for every pet. So uh, the the gift for life has become that product for me. Well, we talk about our peptides being beyond supplements because a lot of the vitamins and the minerals that are out there in dog foods and other supplements, um, they don't come from a real source. They come from a Petroleum source, they don't have the same molecular structure. They can also shorten lifespans because of these toxins that are stored in some of these pets. Uh, they can also cause cancer um, and, and things of this nature. So we're finding out more and more about that. I think we should talk about that in the future. So for a bioregulator, that's our word that we need you to understand. These peptides are the only way to get there, to get a longer, healthier life. There's been a study done in Russia. A lot of people thought that the Russians were getting ahead by using steroids. They were not. They were exploring the peptide technologies, and they were doing injectables and stuff. We've been able to harness an ingestible one that is 100% natural with no side effects. So joint pain and all these other things that you're seeing in your pet, that will soon go away when you start using this new peptide bioregulator technology. So please start today. Dr. Danny and I will be doing a lot more shows, a lot more commercials about this information so we can help your senior pet. Because if we can add, well, we're believing, between 30 and 35% more lifespan to a healthier pet and an older pet, then it's worth it to give the gift for life every day. Do you agree? I agree. I think uh, to, to reference something very quickly in that in that study you, you were just referencing uh, the Russian uh, uh, work, uh, they really spelled out something that I think is very important and I use now to, to teach uh, people when I'm recommending this product. And that is that bioregulators target specific cells. They don't just go in there and bump around and, and hope they right. hit something. They're actually targeting a cell and they found that studies, the studies that they did found that target Cells like, for example, a, a bioregulator that was specifically meant for the heart went to the heart right. and, and affected it. And one specifically meant for a kidney went to the kidney. One for the brain went to the brain. Whereas drugs, most drugs that we put in the, into the body uh, float around in there until they uh, come in contact with something that they're supposed to be attacking or they're supposed to be fighting right. and uh, are, are trying to help. These are, these are helper products. These go in and, and help the, the cells heal. For example, a wound will heal better if they've got these peptides that are meant to help the healing process occur. So they actually find that cellular receptor that will accept that exactly. and turn it back on again. Turns it on. <coughs> Fantastic. Okay, now we know. We've got a lot more information coming your, your way. And I think next week we should start talking about what actually these growth factors are doing, what growth factors we have in the peptides, and how they actually help. Yeah. Let's start explaining how this technology really works because it is made specifically for your pet. You're going to be so happy when you use it. So this is what we have this week for you, Danny. Thank you so much for giving me that information. Thank you. Senior pets, we've got you covered. We're going to help you extend that life. 
and, and we're very happy about that. So I'd like to go now to, well, someone's asleep. Well, she's a senior pet. <laughs> she's going to be 10 next month. And she gets the gift for life? She does. and she. Uh, she's feisty. Well, actually, actually, she's not right now, but she does run around quite a bit and uh, can, can be the barker on occasion. Okay. Now she's on camera, so you know she's got a you know she's well she's a professional model. Yeah, she's a professional. Yeah. She, she's used to dressing up and yes. being still until she's supposed to pose. Because yes. you guys travel all over the United States with her we and do. the other dogs when you we go do. to these different fashion yeah. shows and things of this nature. So we do. And so I, let's talk a little bit about fashion, and then let's also okay. talk about our pet um, of of the week, and also what's going on with uh, the nonprofit organization. Well, uh, you mentioned us uh, going around the country. There's a lot of different, uh, I call them pet fashion events, that benefit uh, animal rescues. Um, I've been to Florida. I've been to California. I've been to New York. Um, we're going to be doing some here in the Dallas area, hopefully very soon. And a lot of these uh, events benefit a local rescue or several rescues in that area, depending on what organization is putting them on. And uh, we've been traveling to all these different events. And um, I have costumes, and I have uh, different uh, professional costume people who, who make all of their uh, costumes, gowns, tuxedos, things <laughs> like that when they attend these events. And uh, it, it, it's it's a lot of fun. It's it's uh, fun for the uh, the community to get involved in. And believe it or not, I know it doesn't look like it right now, but I cannot stress to you that the animals who participate in these events they actually get very very excited. They know when they're getting ready to participate. We get their costumes out or their headdress or whatever they're going to be wearing, and um, it, it's 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 quite a quite an event for them because they know they're going to get to perform. So, And you guys have been winning a lot of contests. I mean, the last one, I think, we was have. in New York. Was this one where, where you were wearing the space Absolutely. costumes? Absolutely. Well, and that, one was, <coughs> that one was Tompkins Square Pet Parade, okay. which, is, which is billed as the largest right. uh, pet That's event right. in the world. And then this past February, we won the New York Pet Fashion Show and uh, made the world media. So, again, these all benefit uh, animal charity, and it's, it's just a lot of fun. And so hopefully we'll be doing that here in the Dallas area. Uh, for some of the local uh, rescues of, of which one of mine is called the Paws Cause. Um, well, let's talk more about that. Well, because you uh, have a truck that I'm really interested <laughs> in because that truck is so important with saving lives. Well, I've got, I was uh, able to uh, acquire a, uh, it was previously a church tour van, and uh, I was able to acquire it, and it needs a little bit of work, but it's a 20, 26 foot unit that I believe can carry probably. 30 to 40 uh, dogs and cats, uh, kennel, of course, and um, we would partner with different rescues and uh, new owners across the United States, already pre-planned, of course, and we would have a transport system several times a year, maybe once a month. Uh, there are several organizations who already do that, okay. so I would not be the first, but it is, it is a uh, process, and once I get my truck uh, all in order... Um, Hopefully, you'll hit the road, taking uh, dogs and cats to new family members. That's exciting. Mm -hmm. yeah, and been to do it for some time. yes, and you know, you you mentioned uh, pet of the week. I was not able to bring him tonight, but we have a pet. I'm going to call him a pet. He does not have a home right now. He's he's at the clinic at the pet vet, but he was an owner surrender due to some minor health issues. His name is Oscar. He's a precious eight-year-old full-blood dachshund. So any of your dachshund lovers out there, if you're out there, okay. speak up. Uh, he's just, just a doll. He is a diabetic, and he does suffer from Addison's disease, but they are very controllable conditions uh, with proper medication. Uh, it's nothing that... Uh, it's a, you know very very simple to administer the, the medication that he needs. I think he's got a, a lot of life left in him, and uh, so if anybody is a dachshund lover out there who's looking to add uh, a great guy to your to your home to your family, please let us know. He's not in any danger. He's living at the clinic. He gets plenty of loving every day. But in reality, as, as much as we love him, he, he does deserve to be, you know, in, in a family where he can watch TV and sleep in the bed and be taken on long walks versus, you know, staying in the clinic with, with us every day. A forever so, home. Right. So please speak up. Please speak up. He's a great guy. His name is Oscar. Well, here's what we'll do. We'll get a picture of Oscar if we can. Okay. We'll actually put it up on our Facebook. And if anybody will step forward also, 
I will give a year's supply of the gift for life to send home with Oscar because he'll need the peptides to help him along he's with on, that. He started, we started him on the gift for life. Yeah, he's on it. Great. Yeah. A year's supply. I'll, I'll give a year's supply. Please come adopt him. We'll put the picture up as soon as we can. Um, we'll reach out to us. Reach out to the pet vet, Dr. Danny or Miss Amy, and let's find Oscar a forever home. Absolutely. We'll get Absolutely. that up in the next 24 hours. So keep watching, and, and we'll let everyone know. that. And please tell your friends about us and follow us. Please share this video tonight because the senior pet market, we're about to make some major changes in that market using the peptide um, um, the peptide regulators and the peptide technology working with the endocrine system. It really matters. It's fast acting and highly effective. So listen, next week we're going to be talking about nutrition for senior pets. Right. Also, we're going to start talking about what these growth factors actually do to start immediately getting rid of joint pain and increasing muscle and giving more energy and seeing that fire back in the eyes. And we'll give you an update on Oscar. Right. And we'll talk about more a little bit about pet fashion and other things like that. So we will see you next week. Please share the video. We love you guys. This is The Gift for Life live. You can always see Dr. Danny Cox on our website, thegiftforlife.com. Please check it out. Go to the Pet Vet and the Shot Spot. That is so important. They're doing some great work. This is the vet that you want to see. If you have any questions, info at the gift for life. I'll make sure that Miss Amy gets mm -hmm. the questions. I'll make sure that Dr. Danny Cox gets the questions, and we can answer these on the air. So we love you guys. The Gift for Life Live. We'll see you next week. Thank you. See you.